So I've got an example of uh, some basic things that were that were not executed properly uh, in an e-commerce uh, uh, play, and this is this is uh, I, I hate to pick on small businesses, but they often are the ones who commit these basic errors, right? It's it's good to point them out just so that we you know avoid them in the fr future. First, so this company uh, sells sunglasses that have their stylish sort of a. Uh, um, uh, sunglasses with a camera in the middle, right? A small HD camera in the middle so you can record what you're looking at. That's awesome. I'd love to have that. I play football. I'd love to be able to, you know, record things from my point of view as I'm playing quarterback and uh, and it'd be and, and they're less expensive than a GoPro uh, 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 camera. So uh, I'm the target market, right? And they had me targeted with a Facebook ad. The ad showed the sunglasses. It was appealing. It caught my interest. It was well targeted because they knew who they were talking to. So I clicked on the ad, and that's where it all started falling apart. It took me to a first of all to a shop of my Shopify page. So spycameraglasses.myshopify.com, which you know if you can't afford ten dollars for your own domain name to host your uh, your site, you're doing something wrong. There's just a a, a, a in sites that are that are not self-hosted, there's a you're losing trust, right? Because it just doesn't look professional. Um, so buy your own domain, right? And then you go to the site, and uh, they have a countdown clock, right, to create urgency and everything. And this deal expires in X number of hours or whatever. But all all zeros in the countdown clock, so it's not expiring at all. It's just uh, broken. Uh, so again, another aspect of not creating trust. When Especially I get to in the ad, to yeah, yeah, and I in the, when I get to the ad, so the Facebook ad has the picture. It says, "Record what you see as the headline." Uh, it's coming from a Facebook page called Camera Sunglasses, and then when you get to the landing page, uh, it starts calling itself. The product doesn't have a consistent name for the product, so I've got camera sunglasses on the Facebook ad, I've got spy sunglasses on the landing page, I've got snappers, which it doesn't explain what that is, so there's no consistency in naming the product, right? Uh, and then it has uh, multiple calls to action for different things on the same landing page, so it's not just forcing me to, to choose to buy it or not. Uh, and when I go to the help section, it's got a Gmail address for the help. So I have to click on a Gmail address to uh, to ask for any help if I want, and that again is not professional, right? It's not engendering, it's not a, um, inspiring trust when you're using a Gmail account and not uh, your own domain. So a well, bunch of lessons you can learn from that. Often. You know, unfortunately this type of confusion and, and especially the Gmail address and the, you know, no way to get help and no way to find out, like, where things are, the search doesn't work. This happens a lot, and I get pitched a lot by companies that have new products that are that are really often very interesting. And then I go and I look at their page, and you can't find the product, or you can't get into the page, or the page is broken, or you know. And I say to them, "Well, I would love to talk about this, but you have to fix your website." Well, we're new, we you know, and you can't. What can you do? You can't really buy anything from people so it's sort of a circular so we've come to the end of our show and uh, we want to wish you the happiest of holidays and safe and wonderful new year and prosperous and healthy and all the good things we could wish you and we are um, our colleague Albert Marucci will be back with our next show and we are the Beyond Social Media Show you will find us on beyondsocialmediashow.com on Google Plus on the Beyond Social Media page um, David Erickson is at eStrategyBlog.com, and he's at eStrategyTV, and he um, is D. Erickson on Twitter. I am at What'sNextBlog.com. I contribute to Ad Age Digital Next, and on Twitter you'll find me as at What's Next. Happy holidays, and thanks for coming. <laughs>